the requested wood which one is better which one cuts better and uh, which material is better we have today here silky nada 240 and we have terrara scrama 240 stay tuned So welcome back to Survival Land. Well, uh, here we have two really, really requested tools on a channel. The, you all wanted to do comparison of both of these. So after uh, some longer use of uh, NADA, which I got from uh, IWA from Silky over there, um, I used it for a while so I can give you my opinion after decent use. Before we proceed to the tools, let me show you today's sponsor of this thread. It is Gentle Bands. So Gentle Bands, it's a company that produces bands and actually rings. Over here they sent me this beautiful ring and every ring that they craft, you have this nice signature of the maker itself. So over here I have tungsten one. And one cool thing about it, I placed actually nice engraving inside of my daughter's and my son's birth year. And as you know, as I'm a, I'm a firefighter and most guys, firefighters and uh, police officers out there, they wear these nice black rings. And this is something which is very, really, really high quality. Tungsten is very hard. Except for the tungsten, on the web page you're gonna find also titanium rings and all kind of bands which are pretty cool. So make sure you go down there in the description if you want to support the channel, go check them out and find something for yourself. This is really something which is really, really high quality. So thank you Gentle Bands for supporting us and for sponsoring this video. As you can see my Teravas Krama here is really beaten and uh, it is used and abused and that's how i treat my tools they are tools so i use them for that one ignore this patina this is my mistake of not handling my blade right but over here we have this beautiful silky um uh, as you know i'm a big fan of the uh Terrace Krama, which i use for i think since 2019 and I'm really in great relations with the uh, Leka guys, which produce these and sell these. I'm also in a good um, uh, communication and relations with uh, Silky guys there. So uh, we're going to go through some basic information about these two. And I'm going to give you my personal opinion. You know that I'm a Scram fanboy, okay? But I'm also a Silky fanboy. So uh, this one, I'm not going to say which one is better, I'm gonna, just going to say some pros and cons about both of these tools. So I'm going to put them right here. Nope. And uh, we're going to go through some details and specs about them. So let's start with Sterawa Scrama here. We have um, uh, 80 Seer, 80 Seer 2 Steel, which is very good steel and during the past, I don't know, five, six, seven years, it showed to be really, really great carbon steel. Only flaw, if you can make it a con, is of course it's carbon steel, so you have to take care about it, and that is up to you. But what you have to know is, of course, carbon steel is easier to sharpen it, okay? And you have complete review of the Rebel Scrum on my channel, so make sure if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and you're gonna find it right down below in the description of the vid. Uh, you have this uh, rubbery hand which is really, really comfortable and the whole balance of this thing is pretty awesome. So, it has a 240 centimeter, actually 24 centimeter blade. You have this lower part for about 4 centimeters which is uh, in different, sharpened in different angle. Weight of the Rava Scrama is 525 grams or 18.50 ounces. As I said, blank length is uh, 20, 240 millimeters or 24 centimeters. Thickness is 4.2 millimeters. And as I said, steel is ADCRE2, which is, as I said, pretty, pretty awesome. Later on, we're going to compare these sheets. Let's go to the Silky Nada here. We have again blade length of 240 millimeters, actually 24 centimeters, and it weights 940 grams, which makes it pretty hefty. It says that it is authentic premium Japanese steel. Actually, it is uh, SKS51 steel, which I could find about it. 
And that's everything you should know about the, the Silkinata itself. It is pretty thick, it is beast, and uh, one thing I like about it, uh, in comparing it to the Scrama, this is my third Scrama. Reason is you have to be pretty careful with this blade due to this really, really nice edge, okay? If you hit something harder, you gonna probably have issues with the chips. All right, so you have to be extremely careful. With this beast, you're not gonna have these problems. And uh, it is how it is, it's just very thick. It is a beast of a blade. And the one interesting thing about it, which I found out, is that uh, this um, handle here, you can actually, I'm gonna show it here, you can remove it completely. So I guess you could probably place there your own handle for some reason if you want. But uh, I would say that this rubber is pretty similar to the Terrava Scrama and it absorbs... <sighs> Come on. Okay, and it absorbs uh, shocks pretty good. Now, thing that I don't like about it, uh, it's being kind of too heavy, okay? And this weird edge is, I guess it's something like Parang, but I guess in opposite way or something like that. So also the balance, it is pretty weird. Okay, it's not in a, if you take a scram, of course, it is on the middle between blade and handle itself. And over here, it's pretty weird. And it is on the side of the blade. I know that they thought that it would be a great idea to have all the weight up front. So when you're chopping, you have, I would say, more force to it but the problem is that this edge is pretty weird okay if you had it differently it would be even more naturally so if you had edge over here i guess it would be better but like this i have just the unnatural feeling of using it and uh, with that being said it is pretty good tool you're not gonna break it that's for sure you can baton it you can do what it's just beast and it's also pretty beautiful um, uh, what else I can say about it? Um, uh, Terrell's Krama here, you have this handle which looks pretty weird and most people will say it is ugly, but you can use it like this to do the ch all the chopping and you can actually use it for the fine work. It is a really lightweight. When you talk about weight, I would say that it's almost less than half of the weight of the Nada. So, I would say, for some conclusion, you don't have to worry with Nada hitting even the rock or something because this edge is pretty sick. With this, you have to be more careful. And uh, if you're wondering, I mean, that was your wish to compare it, but it is comparable. I mean, it is both, I would say, kind of machetes, okay? This is not a knife, this is not a knife, obviously, just uh, cutting tools. And uh, that's pretty much it regarding the use of the both. You have laying your holes from the both sides and that is something that is pretty, um, I would say, similar and it's pretty common on all tools today. Over here you have this hole on a Terra Scrama, which I talked about earlier in the review of the Scrama itself. It serves there actually in production so they could heat treat blades pretty quicker and they could, you know, put more of them on the line and blah, 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 blah. Now regarding sheaths, originally uh, with the Rava Scrama, if you don't pay this, you have just plastic sheath which is insert inside of this leather one. And it works pretty good when you put your blade inside, even when it's not buckled up, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? With that being said, with Silky Nada, I found that there is no click or anything. You have these plastic sheets with this, I don't know if it's steel or aluminum from the sides. But when you put it inside, this rubber is the only thing that it holds it. So I found a few times that it just slipped out in my backpack and I found it just like this. So even the smallest force is gonna kick it out. You can actually put it from the both sides. Actually not, I guess, but I guess yes. But it doesn't hold pretty good. So I would say that the Rava Scrama wins that one. 
as you can see, even just with holding it, it's gonna go down and you can hurt yourself. So G is laughing back. Uh, one good thing about it, you have this buckle, so you can remove this one, you can put it on and you can remove your tool anytime. Then with the Rara Scrama, once you have this sheath on yourself, you have to remove your belt and you have to take it off and blah, blah, blah. So I would say that all in all, uh, regarding sheaths, that's something that I can say that the Rara Scrama beats silky here. So they should work on some kind of a solution for that one. Other than that, they're both great tools. If you buy either one, you're not gonna do any mistake at all. Final conclusion, uh, let's go to the price actually. So uh, NADA here in Europe costs about, I think 130 to 150 euros, depends where you buy it. Then Terrao Scrama costs, I think 60 euros. And if you get this kind of sheath, I think you would go up to 90. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna write it down. That's something in my brain. And uh, that's kind of a simplest comparison I can do here. Everything else you can find my vids. I use it all the time. So this is not unboxing. We're like, yo, dude, this is cool. I use my tools. And so after that one, I can tell you some pros and cons on the both. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I would say if you want to support the channel, you can become a patron for only $1. My patrons knew that I'm going to published this thread and they saw all kind of stuff before you did guys over there so for only one dollar you can support our channel out uh, with that being said most easiest way to support the channel like this thread comment what you think subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, i'm gonna see you guys soon in new adventure with crazy dogo so have a nice one Sandra.